So you've not had a poo at least three times during the last week, or maybe you find that your poo is often large and dry, hard or lumpy, or perhaps you're straining or in pain when you go to the toilet. If this is the case, the chances are that you might have constipation. And in this video, we're going to cover what it is, as well as causes, five ways that you can treat your constipation at home, and finally, when you should consider seeing your doctor. So first of all, what causes constipation? Well, it's important to note that constipation is common and it affects people of all ages. You can usually treat it with simple changes to your diet and lifestyle, but sometimes you might need to see your doctor and we'll cover these situations at the very end of this video. In adults, there are lots of possible causes for constipation, and these include the following things. First of all, not eating enough fiber, which is found in foods like fruits, vegetables, cereals, grains, and nuts not drinking enough water, not moving enough and spending long periods instead sitting or lying down, often ignoring the urge to go to the toilet and instead holding your poo in, changing your diet or your daily routine, a side effect of some medicines can also cause constipation as well as stress, anxiety or depression. Now constipation is also common during pregnancy and for about six weeks after giving birth. Rarely, constipation may be caused by a medical condition, and if you're caring for someone with dementia, constipation might easily be missed. In this circumstance, you should look out for any behavior changes, like them becoming more agitated, as it might mean that they're in pain or discomfort from the constipation. So now we know some potential causes, well, how can you treat and prevent constipation yourself? So the first thing to mention is that you should try making simple changes to your diet. This is really crucial and important in preventing constipation. The dietary changes that I would recommend are drinking plenty of fluids, avoiding alcohol and increasing the amount of fiber in your diet. Now to increase fiber, think about adding some wheat bran, oats or linseed to your diet. Other foods that you could think about adding are things like apples and bananas, lentils, chickpeas, dates or nuts. So things like walnuts and almonds. In terms of drinking water, I'd recommend that you try to have a minimum of 1.8 litres a day, but again, this is going to vary from person to person depending on your size. The second thing is to improve your toilet routine. Try to keep a regular time and place and give yourself plenty of time to use the toilet. Don't delay it if you feel the need to poo or the urge to poo. It's important to open your bowels. The third thing in order to make it easier to poo is to try resting your feet on a low stool when you're going to the toilet, so something like a squatty potty, and if possible, raise your knees above your hips. Now the theory behind this is that the angle created by the squat stool can help open up your rectum for an easier bowel movement. Fourthly, try consider increasing your activity. A daily walk, a run, or any form of exercise that you enjoy can help you poo more regularly by increasing blood flow throughout your abdomen and bowels. That will really stimulate your bowels to open. And finally, if these lifestyle and bowel habit changes don't seem to be working after consistently trying them for at least a month, then you could speak to your pharmacist for advice. They might be able to suggest a suitable laxative. Now, laxatives are medicines that help you to poo. Now, laxatives work in different ways. Some stimulate the bowel to become more active, others add bulk to your poo, or others bring fluids into your colon. Again, your pharmacist or your health provider will advise you on which might be best to try first. Typically, most laxatives work within three days, and they should only be used for a short time. So once you feel your bowel movements have returned to normal, you should try to stop using them. Remember, because laxatives are a medicine, it's always important to read the information leaflet fully before starting to take it to make sure that it's suitable for you. Lastly, when should you consider seeing your own doctor about constipation? Well, sometimes you might need to consider seeing your doctor about constipation, and this is especially the case if you're constipated and it's not getting better with treatment and lifestyle measures after a couple of weeks, you're regularly constipated and it's lasted more than a month, you're bloated as well as constipated and it lasts for a long time, you've noticed blood in your poo, or if you've lost weight without trying. It's also important to see your doctor if you're constipated and you feel tired all the time, or you're taking medicine that's causing constipation. These might be things like opioid painkillers, things like codeine or morphine. If you found the video useful, please do leave a comment below if you'd like to share your own experiences for things that have worked for you, which might help others. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for weekly health education videos that aim to empower you to live a healthier life.